Hello, it's Dave at Vintage Toy Rush. Welcome back to the Collection Room Transformation Vlog. This time it's part five, and today's a special one because we're gonna be turning on the cabinet lights. Now, because DCB June did such a great job on painting this room and helping out, she will actually have the honor of turning on the cabinet lights. The room isn't actually finished yet. The cabinets aren't pushed back against the walls. The ceiling light's not working at the moment. I need to get that replaced. So we just have this little lamp here given the light, which is why the quality of the video at the moment is pretty bad. So while we're here, let's just have a quick look at what we've done to the cabinets. We've installed these LED strips behind the bars of the cabinet on either side. So each cabinet has got two LED strips, and then you can see the cable running along the top there and out the back of the cabinet. Let's just take a quick look behind the cabinets to see all the gadgetry there. So here we can see for each of the cabinets, the cables coming out the back. And then those cables are going to two controllers. Each controller is powered by a power supply. And as we'll see later, those controllers can be independently uh, managed through the remote control. Okay, so it's time to switch on the cabinet lights. So in good Christmas fashion, we're gonna have a countdown starting from five. <laughs> you ready? So, five, four, three, Two, two, one, go! And there we are, the lights are finally on in the cabinets. So there's one side, and I'll just swing around quickly to the other side. As you can see, each of the cabinets has a different color light. And here's the remote control. Each cabinet is allocated to a zone, and these are zones here in the remote control, so I can change the color in each zone. So if I click on zone three and use the color wheel, we should now see the color changing here. And we can choose a color that we like. That blue looks pretty neat. Let's go over here and choose zone four. And let's pick a different color here. That looks pretty neat. We can also adjust the brightness, take it down a little bit, bring it back up. So we can do a bit of a sort of disco thing going on here. I think you can slow down the speed of that and you can have colors fading in and out as well. And that's on one side and we can do exactly the same thing on the other side as well. In this case, let's just make all the colors white. There we go, if I stand back, we have white lights all across. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out for the cabinets. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to in order to install all these LEDs and set up all the zones and everything, but I'm much, much happier with how this room is turning out. So there are still a few things to do. The next is to sort out the ceiling light. That's gonna get replaced. And also I'm thinking of having some strip lights that go across the top of the ceiling there so that for all the items on the top of the cabinets, they get lit up as well, which is why I haven't yet pushed all these cabinets back and installed them against the wall, because I'm likely to have to get behind there and do some more drilling and what have you. As you can see, as we cycle through all the colors, the room looks pretty funky. God knows what the neighbors are thinking from outside. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give a like, leave a comment, I always try and respond where I can. And if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel as well. So until next time, all I have left to say is stay safe and cheers. Crikey, that is red. <laughs>